It seems that we have plenty choice when we feel hungry, but not everyone does have access to enough food. In 2022, about 735 million people in the world faced hunger. In 2030, almost 600 million people are estimated to be chronically undernourished. It is still time to reverse the situation. As I always say, we have to produce more with less. In Madagascar's Mahitsi, this year has seen the best harvest for local hybrid rice farmers. To achieve self-sufficiency, Madagascar has been cooperating with China in the development of hybrid rice since 2007. <laughs> Madagascar is extremely diverse in altitude and climate, and it takes time to find suitable seeds that work. So when the motor and I don't see in Sri Mata, just a Jarisha Shimpin, the Zajish in India for Kaifa, say some of himself, you can die to take one. So far, the total hybrid rice growing area in Madagascar has exceeded 75,000 hectares. Through Belt and Road cooperation, hybrid rice has now been promoted to over 20 African countries, helping solving food security problems in the continent. Here in Tanzania's Morogoro region, a sort of small bean is providing big nutrition. This bean comes from China and brings health and hope of prosperous life. Under a built and road project led by China Agricultural University in collaboration with local authorities, local farmers are trained to intercrop soybeans with maize and to produce milk from these beans. The children and those young women, they can be Wise. Like many others, Omari earned money by cultivating the soybeans, and he even opened a small canteen. Ambacho wateja wangu wengi na wanakipenda, na kutengeneza maziwa ya soya, na kunyo na mungu. Lakini vile vile, kwa sababu hata mimi mwenyewe na tumia kwa matumizi yangu, inafsi na watoto wangu. Kwa sababu soya ina protein nyingi. Farmers are losing their land to desertification. This is the case in Nigeria's Kano state, which borders the Sahara. To keep more arable land arable, a group of local and Chinese scientists are taking actions. Several native tree species are being planted here, if the trial goes well. This four hectare area of sandy land fenced by barbed wire will be looking like an oasis not long after. So the intention is that uh, for research, for demonstration, farmers to come and see what we are doing so that they can copy from us and also to combat desertification. We have little to do here. So we are ready to copy him, we give him any copy him because he changed us. This is part of efforts from China to support an initiative called the Great Green Wall an African program to combat desertification and address food insecurity, and will be eventually benefiting 232 million people in over 10 countries. From hybrid rice, soybean planting projects to combating desertification, these Belt and Road Cooperation projects driven by innovation and technology are helping improve locals' livelihoods. China is uniquely positioned to engage in South South cooperation. Technical exchanges and knowledge sharing initiatives are strong in China. The Belt and Road Initiative contributes to achieve the SDGs 